Hi everyone. Hi guys. Today we are talking about portable battery power. Hey, you got it right. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so we have bought ourselves an EcoFlow Delta II. Um, and if you don't know what that is, we're gonna go and explain it all to you and explain why we think they're a good idea, why you might want one, all the different uses and all those kind of things. But we thought about it, didn't we? Because we had the Grand on order. We did. Um, so for those of you who don't know about the kind of battery capacity of the Grand California and all those kind of things, the leisure battery capacity, it's not brilliant. Uh, as it comes from the factory. It comes with one leisure battery rather than the two that you normally get in the California Ocean. So bigger van, smaller battery. Quite go go bizarre, figure. really. Yeah, what weird. on earth are Volkswagen thinking there? Um, and it comes with a 92 or 4 amp hour, can't remember, one of the two, um, under the bonnet, and that is your leisure battery. And it only comes with the one, as I say, um, which actually, when you do the maths on how long that's gonna last you off grid, it gets really tight really quickly because you can't use all of that 92. You can only run it down to 50% because of the type of battery it is. It's an AGM battery, it's not a lithium battery. So you can only run it down to half. And when you think that the fridge uses on average about one amp an hour, and then when you think that the heating, heating. uses about one amp an hour, actually it Does the hot to... water then use more than that as well? If you... No, that's included, that's included as, as part it? of all of that. Okay. Um, but when you add all that lot up together. So 24 hours, mm. that's 48. Yeah, so probably it? not quite 24 hours Ouch. if you had both of those on. Mm. And, and you hadn't gone anywhere in the van, because obviously yeah. if you drive the van, run the engine, it'll charge up the battery and everything. So the reason we bought a Delta II, and we'll explain as I say in a minute, um, is because when we had the Grand on order, we thought, do we want to take that battery out, which is in the Grand, and put a lithium one in? Do we want to add another battery in instead, and at, or as well as, and all that kind of stuff? With all the thoughts in the background of warranty. Yeah. Because if you start hacking about wiring, changing, yeah. it, you know, careful, fundamental things, you? you'll be really, really careful as yeah. to what you're doing. Because so you, you know, if you take your van back into Volkswagen, you've got a fault you, with the electric. You'd have to basically take all that stuff out, make it look like you've never touched anything in it, and then... <laughs> <laughs> not that we'd obviously condone anything like no, that, of course. So. Um, but the alternative to all of that, of course, is that you take more power with you in a form that you can put into the van, but not invalidate the warranty. And the Delta II lets you do that. So any um, kind of uh, rechargeable battery pack, which can output 240 volts, you can obviously then plug it into your van to be able to charge your van. So like you'd normally plug into hook up when you're on a campsite or if you're at home, if you keep your van kind of trickle charged with a cable into the wall, you can obviously do that with portable battery storage. And one of the reasons we really like the Delta II is because of its size. Um, it's, it's small, but it's still quite powerful. It's got a decent sized battery in it. And it means that you, we could have taken it with us, plugged yeah. it into the van, um, if we were getting low and it would have charged up the leisure battery again for us from itself. So yeah. effectively it pretty much doubles the capacity or, of the leisure battery. Or you can actually run things straight from it because you can plug stuff into it. So yeah. things like a hairdryer and yeah, your, your higher yeah. power, your higher power stuff. stuff. Yeah, you can run because, straight from that battery anyway. Because again, the Grand California in the UK doesn't come with an inverter at all. So if you've got anything which is 240, mm. whether it's a laptop charger, a hairdryer, anything like that, you can't use that at yeah. all. Whereas again, California, um, standard California, so California Ocean, Coast, etc. Yeah. You do get a small inverter, 300 watt inverter on the 6.150 watt on the T6 and before. Yeah. But you do get one, so you can use a laptop charger and those yeah. kind of things. You don't get that on the Grand at all. Right, let's have a look at how this works on the California Ocean then. And if you like our content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Right, so we're outside, we're at the van and I'm gonna show you what a few different uses I think this is gonna be good for. So, obviously this produces 240 volt if you want it to, it's an inverter. So, what I've got here is a normal hookup cable, um, but I've also got an adapter for a three pin plug. Now we use this at home traditionally to charge the van uh, when we're here, just keep the batteries ticking over, just using the charger inside the van. But obviously if you're gonna use something like this power bank, it's a good idea to have one of these because you can plug it into the back, so, if I show you the back of this, obviously you've got the normal four sockets. You can turn on the inverter, 
plug this in, and then when I plug this into the van, it's basically exactly the same as if you were plugging it into the house, which means it's gonna charge the batteries on the van. So this uh, California Ocean has got two laser batteries and obviously the starter battery. There's a built-in charger inside the van, which charges those off 240 when you're on hookup. So when I plug this in, it's basically gonna start charging the van. So if I do that, all I have to do, plug it into the van like that. And if you have a look at the front of this, you'll see here that it started to ramp up the output. So what that means is it's charging the van now at 163 watts. Now, the reason that's useful, I think, is because if you've been uh, working off grid, uh, you've got the fridge on and you've got the heater on, all that kind of stuff, all of that consumes power out of your leisure batteries. Obviously, you can use one of these to top your leisure batteries up to give you a bit longer off grid. I think, you know, when we had our ocean, we were tending to get two to three days worth of off grid using the heater and the fridge if we wanted to. Uh, that's not with the heater running all the time. That's just running it kind of overnight on fairly uh, <clears throat> small power output. But if you want to extend that or you want to run the heater a lot more, it's quite power hungry. You could use one of these to be able to do that. Now, the other advantage, of course, of plugging it in like this is that you can use your 240 volt socket inside. So let's hop in the van and let's see what we can run. Right, so inside the van then, Sarah's got a travel hairdryer. This is a, um, well, it had to be a GHD, didn't it? It is Sarah's after all. Um, this, G this GHD travel hairdryer, this is actually rated at uh, 1400 watts. It's got two power settings, 1000 watts and 1400 watts. And again, in the Kelly's, um, there is a, 240 volt plug socket on the end of the kitchen unit. Um, so that's only live when you've got hookup usually, but obviously with that plugged in outside and switched on, you do get nice, warm, proper hairdryer air. So I think that's quite handy because one of Sarah's biggest complaints when we've been camping off-grid before is not being able to a have a shower and b being able to dry her hair so actually if you um, had one of the portable shower units or anything like that even if it was just a quick hair rinse being able to use a hair dryer when you're out and about or wild camping actually quite handy not not very handy for me obviously doesn't really uh, doesn't really feel like it's applicable to me but for Sarah I think she really like that the other thing, you've probably seen that uh, in our van we carry around a little 240 volt kettle, those kind of things. Obviously you can power that up uh, from uh, that unit as well. If you're not bothered about charging your leisure batteries and you're only bothered about using those uh, couple of things, so a hair dryer, uh, kettle, small air fryer, anything like that, obviously you don't have to have it outside, you can bring it inside. Just, just have the unit sitting between the front seats or somewhere nice and easy and then you can obviously use it to charge all your USB bits and pieces. You can use it to obviously power these things directly from the unit, you don't have to do it through the hookup. It's just handy if you've got it plugged in as a hookup outside to be able to use these things inside the van. The other thought in the back of my mind was if we think about the don't invalidate the warranty and all that kind of stuff, actually then having a portable battery pack essentially with an inverter when we finally get around to doing something in the garden in terms of Over whether there. it's a <laughs> pergola or some kind of office or whatever it is <laughs> if it's just an outdoor seating area essentially you've got yeah, that you battery power you, and you take it with you and you can plug your lights and your power and all sorts of bits yeah, and pieces into that rather true. than just digging up a trench in the yeah, garden from the garage yeah. to stick your, uh, your cable in and actually wire stuff. So you've you got something that you can just move around the house as well. So, so don't let's, drop it. So, let's, <laughs> <laughs> so let's, have a, let's have a bit of a look there. So these weigh 12 kilos. Um, so it's not the lightest of things, but as you can I see- I can manage it. You, you can manage, don't drop it, will you? I'm not gonna drop it. Um, so uh, Sarah, Sarah can manage it. And if you get up early enough in the morning, you can obviously do your regular That's exercise very bad with posture whilst you're doing <gasps> exercising there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, yourself a an injury like that. So this one has a capacity of 1,024 uh, watt hours. Um, so one uh, 
kilowatt hour basically of power. Uh, you can get other eco flows which got more than that, so two kilowatts. You can buy an expandable battery for this. But they're which, obviously then physically bigger and heavier. You're carrying more stuff around. Yeah. I think this is a really good sweet spot in all of that in terms of what you get and power of it uh, and storage. Uh, but like I say, you can get one which is twice the size if you want to. Uh, but if you want uh, more power, but you only want to have this kind of size, you can get, for this little cover here, you can get an expansion pack for this, which is basically another battery, which is another kilowatt. And it plugs in with a cable into this, so they kind of daisy chain together. That, but it doesn't have all of the inverter and other electronics in it. It's just a battery, so it's a bit cheaper a bit than buying one of these. Is it a bit yeah. smaller or is it exactly it's the same It's about the same size. size. Okay, yeah. so they've but used you, the same but, external But they packaging. do stack. Pretty yeah. much. So you've got some expansion options for the future if you want. So what do you get then? So on the front, um, you get uh, USB-C. Well, yeah, you so can do. Uh, you get USB-C, uh, two ports, both at 100 watts each. Uh, you get four USB-A sockets. So if you've got normal USB stuff you want to charge, you can do that on there as well. Uh, it's got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built in as well because it comes with an app for your phone so you can see what it's doing. This screen on the front here just tells you what percentage battery is left in it, yeah. how long that's going to last you based on the current usage. Uh, it tells you how much it's charging, uh, if it is charging, so how many watts it's charging at. And it also tells you how many watts are coming out of it. So if you've got something that you're powering, it tells you what power is being drawn from it. And so if you've been quite, listening quite carefully, nifty. you can tell Will's starting to struggle to hold on to it because he's getting a little breathless. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm not saying I'd be any better. <laughs> so, I can hold Take it. Take a deep breath, Will. Hold it a bit easier this time. So on the back, you've got four UK power sockets. They do do this in EU versions and US versions and all that kind of okay. stuff. But uh, they do it with four power sockets. They're orientated in the right way so your cables don't hit each other when you plug four things in because sometimes which is an issue in it, the yeah, Grand California be, yeah, yeah, the for, way that they put the plug sockets in there there's a theme here but. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah you've got your four sockets there which are for your power out and that button at the bottom there switches your inverter on and off under this little flap at the top here this is where you charge it I was going to offer to open it for you then to help you out Will and uh <laughs> He just you. wanted to make life a little bit more tricky for himself. Uh, and at the top here, you've got um, 12 volt power in. I'll show you the cable which comes with it for that in a second. You can also buy an adapter cable there to plug in solar panels to be able to charge it if you've got it on a campsite somewhere and it's nice and bright and sunny. Mm -hmm. They do EcoFlow do solar panels which fold up into a bag and then you can stick them on the floor outside your van and capture the, the rays. Right direction. Yeah, point them in the right direction, yep. plug it in here and it charges it up for free. Obviously, you've got to buy the panels. Yeah, and the battery. Um, so, and the battery, <laughs> but so kind of free, but not free. Um, normal kettle lead you can plug in, uh, which charges it up from the mains in the house as well. Uh, you can change the amount of power that it takes when you charge it. So, it can charge as low as 200 watts, um, or you can charge it right up to 1200 watts. And if you've got it on 1200 watts, I think it takes just about an hour to charge something like to that. To 80%, isn't it? Or 50 something. minutes or something. Yeah. It's really quick. Uh, we tend to have it uh, turned down quite low here at home if we're charging it, but that's because we've got solar panels on the house. So we try to get the solar panels to the point in the day where they're creating excess and then obviously charging suck this. Suck some of that out. We can suck some of that back into this, which is all good. <laughs> and then finally at the bottom here, you've got a 12 volt socket and this 12 volt socket here is 12 volt power out, just like a normal cigarette lighter socket in the car. And it can do eight amps, I think, for that. Um, so quite a quite significant, hefty, quite a significant output. Mm. Uh, and I should have said the solar charging for this, it will go up to 500 watts worth of solar input if you want that's to. But that's quite an array some serious that you have to have with you, isn't it? Some yeah. serious panels if you wanted to do that. Yeah. Now, you're probably wondering what you can actually power with this. I'm going to put it down now. <laughs> uh, it's not that heavy, really. Um, so in terms of what you can actually power with it, it's really fascinating what they've managed to do with the Delta II. Um, it's basically an 1800 watt inverter, but they've given it some special features, which means that it can go a bit further than 1800 watts if you need it to. And what that means is, if you've got something which is more than 1800 watts, it varies the voltage slightly 
uh, to be able to cope with that extra demand that you're putting on the, the, um, the battery. So for example, uh, and the reason we bought a few bits and pieces out here is just to show you just how well this actually works. So we've got our normal kettle that we have in the house. That's, I, I looked on the base plate of this when I was bringing it out here. That's two and a half kilowatts. So it's 2,500 watts. That's more than I thought it was. Yeah, oh. 2,500 watts. If I plug it into the back of the Delta II here, I've turned the inverter on on the back of the Delta II and if I hit it to start kettle boiling, on. kettle on, you'll probably hear in a second, if I go a bit closer here, you can probably hear the fans have just started on the Delta II because there it you go. does... ramping up now. Yeah. So it does use the fans quite a lot when you run it at basically full power on the inverter, but it's boiling that kettle. No problem at all. There's no cutting out, there's no overloading, there's nothing. And when I look on the screen here, it's saying that it's using 1900 watts. And that's because it's varying the voltage slightly to be able to cope with the fact that that's a two and a half kilowatt kettle. So it just works. And we use it in the house quite it's a quite lot nifty. like that. It's quite really, nifty. Yeah. yeah. So I'll stop that before it boils all the way because it is a fastball kettle after all. But what I was going to show you was our air fryer. So we've got one of these T-Fell kind of mini oven with shelf thing type air fryers. Dobby. Um, and it runs this too. I mean, this is a two kilowatt air fryer, so it probably isn't a surprise after I've just shown you something which is two and a half kilowatt. So it's a, a 2000 watt air fryer, um, which again, if you have a look at, if you've got an air fryer at home, one of the, um, they're ninjas, aren't they? Some of them, yes. rather than the T-Fell ones. Yep. They're usually about 1800 watts, something like that. Mm. Um, but again, you know, with this, 200 degrees, 15, 15 minutes. minutes, and... Just a bit sunny out here to see. Sorry, yeah. There we uh, go. That's it. And go. Hit start. And the light on just to prove it. Yeah, so you the, can even see that. Yeah, the light's <laughs> on inside. So that's warming up to 200 degrees. Just as before, if I have a look at the Delta II here, Fans have just kicked in, yeah, haven't they? Yeah, so it's saying it's, it's running at 1800 watts this time, mm. but you can hear the fans are running on the Delta II, and then I can see the power's ticking down on the Delta II, as you would imagine, because we're running it pretty much flat out. Um, and if you run it like that, it runs for about 30 to 35 minutes. Yeah, so if, we can do our evening meal if, and that, easily. The, the big if in all of this, if, your appliance was pulling that kind of power permanently. Yeah, and what we quicker, And what we it? find with the air fryer is it gets up to temperature and then the power drops right off that it needs. So actually, it only uses, if we cook something for about half an hour in our air fryer, it only uses about probably a third of this battery, something like that. Um, it's, it's, really, it's really efficient in the way that it heats mm. up. So it really, it's, uh, it's, it's a cracking, bit of kit really yeah. and when you think about the potential in the van so you've got charging the van so you can charge your leisure batteries up so you can keep using your heating and all of that kind of stuff if you want to so you kind of use it like a electric hookup portable battery for electric hookup yeah. if you've got it inside the van hair dryer straighteners small air fryer kettle, you know, kettle charging toaster, charging if you like your toasters yeah charging e-bike batteries yeah. saves you having to buy the 12 mm -hmm. volt e-bike chargers, true, yeah. all that kind I of stuff. About that one. Yeah, toasters, you name it. Anything that you've got, pretty much anything um, that you would slow likely cooker, take away. Maybe yeah, slow cooker. Yeah. Yeah, you could take away in the van. Remember, you can charge this when you're on the go as well. So if you're in the van driving to where you need to get to, you get this cable with it, which is a cigarette lighter cable and a plug on that side, the orange one, if you remember on the back of the unit. So you plug that in to the van charge it as you Hello, go along puppy. and then by the time you get there you're going to have a good amount of charge back in your Delta 2 again and if you're on a campsite with hookup remember you can charge it up there too yeah. and then you're taking away another kilowatt of power with you ready to go for yeah. the next time so if you're hopping around the NC500 you've got the odd campsite then you're wild camping then you're on a campsite again if you've got one of these remember you can take some power with you just in case. Think so the I other think thing great. that um, we figured out as well is for charging it on the 12 volt, uh, you can actually fit it between the seats in the yeah. uh, in the normal 
yeah. <laughs> California Ocean or beach or whatever yeah. it is, it sits fits, there fits lovely. perfectly between the, the driver and passenger seat as well. It does. And creates a little shelf in the middle if it you does. wanted to put something on it. Yeah. It's got yeah. a uh, an LFP battery in it, which is a new type of lithium battery, which effectively means it's got a much longer life. So EcoFlow warranty this for 3,000 charges. Um, and and it, it's not that they warranty for 3,000, they warranty the battery to still give you 80% of its capacity after 3,000 charges. And that's full charges yeah. though, isn't it? Down to zero yeah. and then back up to that's full right. again, rather that's than, right. you know, I, I, I took 50% of it and then I charged it, it back top, up again, it up again and again. topped it up yeah. a bit. Yeah. Um, so as I said earlier, it's got an app. Uh, when you buy this, I think you get three years warranty or two years warranty, but you can top it up to five, I think, because it's got that. Yeah. decent battery in it. It means that you get a really nice long warranty as well as standard. We've been really impressed with I, it, actually. I, I think we're a bit nervous because they are expensive. You know, this retails, where are we? Nearly May 2023. 2023 yeah. And it retails around the kind of 1099 mark. You can sometimes get deals on them for about a thousand. Yeah. We picked up a card at the NEC show yeah. in February yeah. that gave us a bit of money off, yeah. didn't it? And we ummed and ahed about it for Pretty much until the last date that you could order using we, that we, discount code. We really code. did, because, you know, that's a lot of money to us. And, yeah. you know, we we weren't sure, but we thought when you look at the cost of having a lithium leisure battery and then the different charger that you'd need to charge that lithium leisure battery and you factor in the warranty things, and that doesn't yeah. even get you 240 volt in your van because you haven't got an inverter at that point. So you've got to yeah. spend another 500 to 1,000 yeah. or more on an inverter of that kind of power it suddenly starts to look like really good value, especially yeah. when you can use it in the house, you can use it in the back of the car, you can Garden. use it anywhere you like. Well, you could just yeah. you know, give it to your kids if they're going camping. Yeah, just tell them to take that. Yeah. yeah. Um, EcoFlow do do smaller ones as well. They do ones which are 500 amp hours rather than 1,000, and they do them mm. right down to small things which are designed specifically for just charging smaller things if you needed to. Yeah. But I think that's a cracking kind of intermediate size, which you can pretty much fit anywhere in a cupboard or in the yeah. boot of a van or between the seats, like you say. Mm. It just seems to do the job. Yeah. So. I was sceptical. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've been one over. <laughs> but it's tech, you see, so I love, you can probably tell I yeah. love talking about I got about the sales tech. patter. You didn't. I did get the did sales you? patter. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we're, we're really enjoying using it while we haven't got a van um, obviously in this video you'll have seen us put a bit of footage when Carl came over we were trying it in his van and seeing how it fitted and the kind of different things you can use mm. it for and everything so hopefully you've enjoyed having a look at that but uh, yeah this um, this is it's great and, yeah. and we're using it in the meantime we can't wait to use it in our new van as well and going uh, into the winter because really we'll pick up our van October time it's going to be invaluable, yeah. I think, for that extra bit of power, making sure that the heating and the hot water works. Yeah, I mean, um, the Sven comes with two batteries. It does. But it's that peace of mind that if you are somewhere that it's starting to just drain down a little bit, you know you can plug that You've in. You've always got a bit more. But also, it, the Sven doesn't come as standard with an inverter either. So mm. for your hairdryer or anything, which feels like a luxury, but yeah. why not? If you can take the power with you, then it's great, isn't it? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So if you fancy checking this out, have a look at EcoFlow's website. I'll put a link uh, just down below now where you can have a look on Amazon and the usual places to see how much they are at the point where you watch this video. Sounds like we need to go and rescue the pup from the hedge where she's found a bird to terrorise. And uh, Looking very happy terrorising the bird in the she hedge. Does. Yeah. She does. Uh, and we'll see you again soon for some more Camper Van Time. time.